the Cuban Missile Crisis. Fidel Castro overthrew the government and established communism. The Soviet leader Khrushchev and Fidel Castro teamed up to work against the Americans. The Soviet leader asked Fidel Castro if they could bring Soviet missiles. Fidel Castro accepted the request. I, I will bring the missiles. These will benefit us both. U-2 spy planes spot Soviet missile sites. U-2 spy plane spots Soviet ships going toward Cuba armed with severe nuclear missiles that could destroy. Everything. Kennedy sent warships to, to make a blockade so Soviet missiles can't be sent there. Kennedy called out Khrushchev for sending nuclear missiles to Cuba. Tell your men to send the nuclear loaded ships to to Cuba right away, sir. When the Soviet ships came, the blockade came and blocked them from coming in, and then they had were forced to retreat back to the USSR. Khrushchev said that he would never back down from the U.S. We must arrange negotiations with the U.S. Well, o okay, I guess. The U-2 spy plane captures steel construction of Soviet missile sites. Huh, well, I bet it's another Soviet negotiation letter. Hmm, would you look at that? It is. I'll put this one on my desk. Da 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 da. Huh, I bet this one's from Turkey. Would you look at that? It is. Well, would you look at that? I'm done with that. Then the U 2 spy plane was shot down by a missile. Rip. Sir, a U-2 plane has been shot down. Well, when you look at that, I guess we have to sign the first letter of agreement. Good thing I put it in my desk. Well, hey, everybody, we decided to agree to the Soviet and Cubans' terms. Castro, Khrushchev, and Kennedy all agreed to the terms. And a permanent hotline was made between the U.S. and the Soviets. So, so Cuba, Cuba was denuclearized. The, the end. end.